Hey guys, I'm Saith from Linux Plus and today I'm gonna be showing you how to make your Linux Mint just like macOS Mojave or macOS Catalina or any other macOS version. Before start, I want to mention that this procedure is completely safe, you can change it anything you want just by following some simple steps. So without any further ado, let's get started. So first thing first, to download the theme, you need to enter this, uh, open this uh, web link, longlook.org. I'll put a link in the description below, so don't forget to check the description. And from there, you will need to download the, all the theme icon or theme. Let's uh, download the macOS theme. Uh, as far as I'm making this video, it's the Mojave uh, here. Uh, you will find maybe Catalina or other newer version or if you want to download another version you can do so let's open the downloaded file you can see this is the mojave light theme i think so you just need to extract it here so after extracting it copy that folder and go to home home direction then you need to ha unhide the hidden folder so if from there you'll find dot themes folder and just uh, paste the file and after that uh, right click the panel down panel and go to themes and from there you can change the macOS theme you can see it's the light theme so if you want to do the, install the dark theme you can find it here you can see the macOS uh, mojave dark so let's download the dark version it's uh, 550 kilobyte so let's download it so let's save that and do all the procedure again open the file direction then extract it and then copy and then go to home then theme then paste it here you can see i already have one if you want to install more then you can put them here so let's open the theme again and from here the windows borders you can see the mojave dark border here and from controls you can find the mojave dark uh, it's gonna take time okay this is the thing So now, now the next thing is icons. So let's download the Cupertino icons. You can search it here or I'll put a link in the description. So you can find them there also. So let's download the Cupertino icons from file section and it's 21 megabyte I think. Yeah. Uh, so let's download the second one. And after that, open the file location and repeat all the procedure again, except we have to put those files in different location. So that's our new folder, Cupertino icons. You need to copy that folder or cut that folder and go to the home then icons and inside icons you need to paste that folder now if you open the theme section right button then theme yeah and in this icon section you will find the mojave icons uh where is it is there it's a cupertino mojave icons so we got our new uh, Mojave icons if we open different location and if you want to change the desktop there is an option for the desktop just uh, select the Mojave dark so you can see the uh, new icons are installed all icons have been changed so let's uh, move the panel to the top because uh, of course you need to do that because you're gonna install uh, dock there
and if you want to minimize uh, the size of the panel then you can do so from the panel option uh, i think 26 is okay and auto hide is okay if you want to use the full screen so that's it we got our icons and let's download the captain cursors icon so let's download it and repeat all the procedure again So that's our file, uh, just extract it here. This is one, uh, so just copy that file folder and then go to icons and then paste it here. The thing is you have to paste the cursor icon inside the icon folder because it's also an icon. So that's it. Uh, now the next thing is you can change the icons from here. You can see the captain cursor. So you can see the new icons. Let's change the icon Mac icon. If you want to change it, mint icon to Mac, you can do so. Just uh, download a PNG Mac icon and change the mint logo uh, i don't think you should do this but if you want you can do so you can see the this is png and uh, there is no background of this make sure that uh, icon have no background so just right button then configure and from there just uh, turn on use a custom icon and logo and from the icons option just uh, go to the devices yeah devices then browse and then downloads as we have the icons in the download section and choose the icon and then okay you can also change the icon to others i'm just uh, showing you how to change it to the mac icon so you can see our icon has been changed so the next thing let's install the plank or docky so to do that you need to open the root so sudo su then enter your password then sudo apt install plank make sure the spelling is okay then yes y then enter so that's it i think uh, we got our plank just a search plank and that's it you can see it but it's not like uh, mac os don't worry i'm going to change it our next thing is download the theme for mac for plank actually so go to the file section and downloads let's download it from here mac was mojave night i think night of night will be look better so just save it as usual and this time open it and extract it just like before so extract it here so before that uh, let's install the plank preference because we're gonna need that so you can see there is a theme and position and uh, this is the theme you will find by default and the theme we just downloaded we need to put it in the right direction and you can uh, change this icon size and uh, behavior i think intel ij is okay with me yeah that's pretty much it and if you want to add trash to the dock heap section you can do so and you can if you want to cpu monitor option you can also add it maybe sometimes it's pretty useful and i think we should definitely add the trash so that's it 
so now let's uh, open the downloaded files because we need to change the doc theme that we just downloaded we need to copy it to home then local then share doc, then plank and then theme you can see it's dot local share plank then theme we need to copy the folder there so let's copy the folder theme plank theme that we just downloaded so we will find it to download section and let's extract it okay we already did that so let's do it again so this is the file so let's copy it okay and then paste it inside the themes folder so now let's open the doc settings or doc preference so just type the code and then enter and from here the theme section will find the new theme you can see the new theme here and if you want to, to change more settings you can do so so let's uh, add the icon zoom option and let's make it 200 i think 200 is okay okay i think that's it let's uh, close it okay we got our theme we got our icon okay now let's remove uh, computer and home shortcuts or directory from desktop and now let's uh, change the minimize close and maximize button from left to right to do that just uh, go to the windows option and just change it if you don't want to do that you can keep it default so as i want to do that i'm going to change it I think it's okay so now if you want to change uh, other thing you can do so so we got our theme we got our icon we got almost everything without the wallpaper so let's download the more have a wallpaper you can download it from Google or we can download it directly from their website uh, so I'm gonna download it uh, this is available for 4k 2k or 1080p full hd so as i'm using a full hd let's use download the full hd okay we got the 4k version and full hd let's uh, set it as a normal wallpaper okay we got our we got everything done it's uh, not exactly like my quest mojave but uh, it's almost uh, or closer our you can say it's uh, something else uh, but i think it's pretty cool if you want so thank you guys thank you for watching if you have any problem or any question you can leave that in a comment below i'll always try to be there to help you if you dislike this video you can hit the button but if you like it or it helped you then hit like get subscribed and hit the bell icon to stay notified and this site signing out see you in the next one